वेलकम टू यू ऑल टूडे चैप्टर इज सोनामीटर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सोनामीटर टूडे इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द प्रिंसिपल अंडरलाइंग द वर्किंग ऑफ ए सोनामीटर व्हाट इज इट्स डिस्क्रिप्शन हाउ द डिवाइस कैन बी डिस्क्राइब्ड एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टेंशन एंड लीनियर डेंसिटी what is the experimental procedure that is to be followed here and the what are the laws of stretched strings how they are verified with sonometer and what are the precautions that are to be taken while working with a sonometer and what are it? the relation for frequency in the fundamental mode in the case of stretched string when a stretched string is vibrated transverse stationary waves are formed on it the speed of the wave on the string is given by the speed of the wave on the string is given by v is equal to square root of t by m where t is the tension where t is the tension and m is the linear density of the material of the wire linear density of the wire in the fundamental mode an antinode is formed at the center and nodes are formed at the ends in the fundamental mode an antinode is formed at the center and nodes are formed at the ends so the wavelength of the wave is lambda is equal to 2l the wavelength lambda is equal to 2l but we have the relation the frequency n is equal to v by lambda frequency n is equal to speed v divided by wavelength lambda so using this substituting in this relation we will get the frequency as 1 by 2l into square root of t by m so the frequency of vibration the fundamental mode is n is 1 by 2l into square root of t by m in the fundamental mode of vibration the frequency of vibration n is given by 1 by 2l into square root of t by m using this relation we can define the laws of stretched strings the first law states that n is proportional to 1 by l n is proportional to 1 by l when the tension and linear density are constant the second the sonometer consists of a wooden box with hole set the sides to one end of this box at the at one edge a pulley is fixed a string which is fixed at the other edge and passes over the pulley carrying some weight is the stretched string underneath this stretched string we place two triangular wooden pieces known as knife edges in between these two knife edges the wire is experimental wire on this wire a rider is placed it is a paper which is cut in the form of v and is placed invertedly on this wire while doing the experiment a tuning fork will be set in vibration and placed on this sonometer so this is the what is the experimental procedure we select a load and we attach this selected load to the weight hanger attached at the free end of the stretched wire then the string is stretched we vibrate a tuning fork and then the vibrated tuning fork will be placed on the wooden board with its stem on the wooden board then we slowly adjust the distance between the two bridges initially they will be kept very close to one another and thereby the length between the bridges will be slowly increased and we will always see that the paper rider rider is at the middle of this wire as we move the bridges at one position of the bridges the paper rider flutters vehemently and then falls on the bridge when the rider falls on the bridge the length between the bridges will be measured using a meter scale and this is known as 
length in unison. We will make one more trial and take the average length. This is the experimental procedure. I will repeat this procedure. Attach, we attach a load, selected load to the weight hanger and vibrate the tuning fork. Keep it on the wooden board, sonometer box, sonometer box with its stem and then adjust the distance between the bridges until the paper rider falls on the wooden board. Then measure the distance between the two bridges, that is length in unison and take one more trial and take the average of these two. How to calculate tension? The relation used for calculating tension is mg, where m is the mass attached at the free end of this stretched string. If we attach 1 kg, then the tension will be 9.8 newtons. If we attach 2 kg, the tension is 19.6 newtons. So, in general, if we attach m kgs, then the tension will be 9.8 m newtons. For m kgs, the tension is 9.8 m, 9 m newtons. For example, if you take the weights of 500 slots each, so by taking two 500 weights, we will get 1 kg. If we attach weights of 250 grams, then 1 kg will be attached when 4 slotted weights are attached to the string. So, 4 slotted weights each of 250 grams constitute 1 kg or 2 slotted weights each of 500 grams constitute 1 kg. Like this we can assess the tension attached to the string. Linear density, it is mass per unit length. It depends on the material of the wire and the radius of the wire. The linear density depends on the material and the radius. We can determine the linear density by two methods. One relation is pi r squared d, where r is radius, d is density of the material of the wire. Another relation is mass of the wire m0, m0 by the length of the wire L. Generally, we consider a uniform wire whose radius is constant. So, by taking a screw gauge, we can determine the radius and the density of the material wire of the wire can be taken from the tables and thereby we can calculate the linear density from the relation pi r squared d. Another way is stretch the string on a meter scale, spread the wire on a meter scale and then measure its length and keep this wire in a common balance and find its mass m0. So, divide m0 with the length of the wire, then you will get mass per unit length. If we consider two wires, wires 1 and 2, if the radius of the second wire is double that of the first wire, then its linear density will be 4 times. So, linear density will be 4 times if the radius is double. So, the second provided the lengths are equal. Verification of first law. For this purpose, let us select some three or four tuning forks and let us select only one tension. By adding certain tension, we select three or four tuning forks and by following the procedure described above, we find the length in unison L for each of the tuning forks. If n is the frequency of a tuning fork and l is the length in unison, then calculate n l. You will find that the values of n into l for each of the tuning forks is the same, which indicates that n is inversely proportional to l. 
here we have kept the tension constant and the linear density constant and we proved that n is proportional to 1 by L. This proves first law. Verification of second law. To verify second law, actually we have to prove that n is directly proportional to root t or n by root t is constant. But, but we have already proved that n is proportional to 1 by L. So instead of proving n by root t is constant, we keep n as a constant and prove that root t by L is constant. Instead of proving n by root t is constant, we will prove root t by L is constant. So we proceed as follows. Select one tuning fork and select the po lowest possible load, lowest possible tension. Find the length in unison for this tension. Find the length in unison for this tension. And then calculate root t by L, where L is length in unison. Then increase the load by one step, say by 500 grams. Then the tension is increased. Once again find the length in unison L. Calculate root t by L like this by increasing in steps of 0.5 kgs. Determine root t by L for different tensions and observe the values of root t by L. You will notice that root t by L is a constant. The third law is to be proved as n root m is constant. n root m is constant. Instead of proving this, we will prove L root m as constant. Instead of keeping the length in unison as constant, we keep the frequency of the tuning fork as constant. And we prove L root m as constant. We proceed as follows. Select one tuning fork and select a suitable, suitable tension. Select one tuning fork and select a suitable tension. Select some three or four wires, maybe wires of same material with a different radii or wires of same radii with a different material. Wires of same radii with a different material or wires, wires of same material with a different radii. Find linear density small m for all the wires. Then Determine length in unison for each wire using the same tension and same frequency, same tuning fork. Calculate L root m in each case. Using the same tension and same tuning fork, find the length in unison L for each wire and calculate L root m. You will notice that L root m to be constant. You will find that L root m is constant. Some precautions to be followed. While doing this experiment, sonometer experiment, we have to follow the following precautions. The paper rider must be always at the middle of the two bridges. The paper rider must be at the middle of the two bridges. The weight hanger should not touch the experimental bench. The weight hanger should not touch the experimental bench. The wire should be uniform in radius. A uniform wire should be selected. The tension attached, the tension created should not exceed the elastic limit of that wire. Hold the tuning fork always with its stem. We should not touch the prongs. Now the prongs should touch the wire. You have to keep the tuning fork on the sonometer such that the prongs do not touch the wire. These are the precautions that are to be followed while working with a sonar. What are the uses of sonometer? Sonometer can be used to determine the speed of transfer wave on a stretched string. To determine the speed of transfer wave on a stretched string, we use a sonometer. We can use sonometer for finding the frequency of AC current. For finding the frequency of AC current, 
we can use sonometer. We can also determine the frequency of a tuning fork whose frequency is not known. By taking a tuning fork of unknown frequency, we can determine its frequency. And we can verify the loss of transverse waves on stretched strings. Sonometer consists of a stretched wire. It works on the principle of stationary waves on a stretched string. Actually, we consider the length of the wire in between the two bridges as our experimental length. This will be, this length will be made to vibrate in a single loop. So, it vibrates in the fundamental mode. The paper rider will be placed in between the two bridges and exactly at the midpoint of the wire, which is an anti-node in the case of fundamental mode of vibration. When a vibrating tuning fork is kept on the wooden board, this paper rider flutters violently and then falls on the bridge. Then the frequency of the segment of the wire which is in unison with the tuning fork will have the same frequency as that of the tuning fork. Now this length will be measured experimentally and we use sonometer for verifying the loss of stretched strings namely n is proportional to 1 by l, n is proportional to root t, n is proportional to 1 by root m, etc. We prove nl is equal to constant to prove the first law. We prove root t by l is constant, root t by l is constant to prove the second law. And for proving the third law, we prove l root m is constant. Using sonometer, we can find the frequency of an unknown tuning fork and the frequency of AC current. We can use this sonometer for verifying the loss of stretched strings like this.